The incinerator is designed with a primary combustion chamber for burning sludge oil or solid waste and a secondary combustion chamber for burning out uncombusted exhaust gases. The primary combustion chamber is equipped with a primary burner. Diesel oil is supplied to this burner for initial ignition. After this, the sludge oil is supplied to the main burner until it ignites. The primary burner is then switched off, either automatically or manually. Automizing air is provided to the sludge burner for efficient combustion. A pressure regulating valve is provided on the sludge return line to adjust the quantity of sludge entering the combustion space. The heat from the primary burner will dry out and start burning the solid waste and or ignite the sludge oil. The very large heat transmission area in the primary combustion chamber optimizes the drying and burning of the solid waste. In the secondary combustion chamber, the gases from the primary combustion chamber will burn out. A wall made of ceramic, heavy-duty refractory lining separates the primary and the secondary combustion chamber. In case of solid garbage or waste, the waste is fed into the incinerator through the feeding door. Note that the primary burner cannot be ignited if this door is open. The rest of the combustion process is the same.